If you want to be a great Excel user, you have to know how to use conditional formulas like average if and sum if, and in this video, I'll show you how. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. As always, don't forget to download the data linked at the top of the description so you can work along with me. Okay, so for this problem, we work for a movie chain and we have different dates as well as different locations and the number of tickets sold for each of those days for each of the locations. And what we want to find is the average ticket sold, the total ticket sold, the best day, and the worst day for the East region as well as the West region. And to do this, all we need are some simple conditional formulas. Starting out, let's find the average ticket sold for the East region. To do this, all we need is the average if function. So you just do that by typing an equal sign like you do when you start any kind of formula and then type average if. And don't forget the open parenthesis. So as you can see, we have three arguments that we need for this formula. We have the range, the criteria, and the average range. It kind of works better to explain this from back to front. The average range is the range of numbers that we're going to be taking the average of, the criteria is whatever we want to use to filter the data we're finding the average of, and in this case we're looking for the average of the East region tickets, and then the range is the range of our criteria basically, so all of the data here in our location column. So starting out with the range, our range here is going to be all of these values in the location column, so we will just select and drag here. Next we will add a comma. Now we need our criteria, and again, we're looking for the average ticket sold in the East region, so our criteria will just be the East, and then we'll hit a comma again. And now for our average range, we are just going to enter all of the tickets data because we are finding the average tickets for the East, and now we hit enter, and there we go. Now we have the average ticket sold for the East region. And same here for the West, our first argument will be all of the different regional information right here, hit a comma, select West, hit a comma, and now select all of the tickets sold, and hit enter, and now we have the average tickets for the West as well as the East. Now to find the total ticket sold, this is basically the same as before, but when we see the word total, this clues me in that we want to find a sum, and for this we want to use a sum if. And just like it was for the average if function, the first thing we're going to do is the range of our criteria. So we'll select all of the different regions. Now we're going to enter our criteria, which is the east. And then now we're going to enter the range of data we want to actually find the sum of. And now we have the total ticket sold for the east region. Now same thing for the west. Let's select all of our regional data. Let's select our criteria, which is west. And then now let's just enter all of our tickets sold. And now we have the total tickets sold for both the East and the West. Now we want to find our best day of sales for the East region as well as the best day of sales for the West region. And to do that, we are going to use the max ifs function. Now that we're going to be using this max ifs formula, it's a good time to point something out. For some formulas like the average if, you can see we have two options. We have the average if as well as the average ifs. The average if is just like we showed where you can find the average of a range of cells for some kind of condition. The only difference with the ifs is you can find the average of a range of cells for multiple conditions. Honestly, I never do this for multiple conditions, so you could look up a different YouTube video that gets into that a little bit more, but uh, usually I stick to the average if, but for some functions like the sum ifs, like we're about to use, you just have the sum ifs formula, but again, it works the exact same way unless you add additional criteria. Now back to using our max ifs formula, as we can see, there is a small change just in the order of our arguments, but luckily Excel tells us right here, so it's not something you have to worry about. So the first thing we want to find here is our max range. So this is actually going to be the tickets sold this time, and then we'll hit a comma. Next is our criteria range, and range clues me in that we're looking in for the range of our criteria, not the single criteria that we're going to apply. Hit a comma. And then last is our criteria, and as you can see down here, you can add multiple criteria ranges and criteria, but for this, we're just going to use one, and we're looking just for the east best day. Now we will hit enter, and there we can see our best day in the east was 301 tickets sold. 
Now doing the same thing for the West, let's go ahead and enter in our max range. Let's go ahead and enter in our criteria range. And then we just enter in our criteria, which is West. And now we can see that the best day in the West was 510 tickets. Last, you might have guessed this, we will be using the min ifs formula. So first we will put in our range of tickets for our min range. Now we will put in our criteria range. And now we will enter in our east region, which is our criteria. Hit enter and we can see our worst day in the east was 175 tickets. Now doing the same thing for the west, let's go ahead and put in our min range. Let's go ahead and put in our criteria range. And then we can select west. You could also type in west if you wanted to, but we will just go ahead and select it here. And we can see our worst day in the west was 392 tickets. And there you go. Now you know how to use the average if, the sum if, the max ifs, and the min ifs. And then this applies to any other conditional formula. So you should be good to go on all of those. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Be sure to check out the rest of this playlist if you want to become a great Excel user. And whether you want to become an Excel wizard or a data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.